All right, they're gone. Ceremonial bagel. Flask. Flame. Jimmy Jobs! Jimmy Jobs! Let the games begin! The Mouthathon. In front of you is month old Chinese food from the fridge. Go ahead and eat as much as you can stomach. On your mark, get set, Wahlberg. <sighs> oh, I can't do this to my mouth. She's the love of my life. Charles is eliminated. Off. I think this ball of soup is off. I'm out. I can do this. I want to win so bad. Oh, great. Here, quick. Let me take a picture. Oh, that's so cute. You've got a little bit of mold on the tip of your nose. I tried. I tried, but he's unbeatable. You guys know this is free, right? All right, food is ready. Decorations are set. Guests should start arriving any moment. And the chairs are still perfection. She said they're perfection. I'm so proud of you, buddy. It was you. You made this happen. All right, let's show Rosa what we got. Wait. Where is Rosa? Sarge asked me to help you guys with some filing. Holy crap, this is gonna take all day. Yeah, it's what we call an all dare. How long did it take you two to come up with that? That was a two dare. Okay, well, hand me some files. You're not gonna bother actually walking? Why should we? We can work from down here. I'm sitting down as long as I can. I'm not getting out of the chair till it's time to go home. Ugh. Oh, typical standing elite. You couldn't sit all day if you tried. What? You don't think I could outlast you turds in a chair? Honey, you don't have the ass for it. Let's talk terms. Both cheeks on the cushion at all times. Obviously. Bathroom breaks? Two and a half minutes every three hours. But you got to roll a chair fully into the stall. Obviously. OK. Let's do this. Welcome to the Butt Olympics. Nine hours and 55 minutes. Is it? I feel like I just sat down. I have no feeling down here whatsoever. I haven't in years. I'm doing great, too. This has been a piece of care. Oh, butt cramp. Butt cramp. Well, that sounds painful. I bet you could use some electrolytes. Give me that. That's mine. Come get it. You'll never catch me. Oh, won't I? Oh. Oh. Ramp over. So is our shift. Huh. And you thought I couldn't. Wait, what are you doing? You thought we were done just because our shift was over? Amateur. Oh, so you want to take this into overtime? Fine. I got no place to be. Neither do I. I never do. And it's agreed. The games continue. Santiago Diaz, I wanted to talk to you about our performance in yesterday's bomb diffusing course. We know, sir. You won. No, the three of us all failed. Apparently, our instructor felt we didn't take it seriously enough. But Hitchcock and Scully passed. What? How did they diffuse bombs better than we did? Those were bombs? Unbelievable. Ugh. You made me a birthing suite? We've been napping at work for 20 years. We know how to create a relaxing space in a police station. Gurney? Fire blankets? Nightstick for back massage? Soothing lighting. AKA Scully's fart candles. I'm sorry I said you were worthless in an emergency. You two really came through. It's just nice to have a win after what we went through today. So many devil eggs were lost, and for what? Hey, hey, you can't focus on that. There are hundreds of meatballs that were eaten because of you. I could have eaten more. Just one more. Guys? Not now, Amy. How did you read these files? They're in French. Scully translated them for me. When I was nine, my parents took me to Paris, and they accidentally left me at the Louvre. By the time they figured it out, they were already back in Queens. OK, no one cares about your boring life, Scully. This is about my dad and proving his innocence. Sir, I'd like to go to Canada for a few days and help him out. Of course. But take Boyle with you. It'd be good to have an objective set of eyes. Fine, but under protest because he's a jerk. Also, we'd like to take Scully with us. Well, perfect. I do you a favor. You do me one, too. Thank you. They're not going to kill you fast, Scully. They're going to make it real slow. First, they're going to scalp you, and then they're going to rip your tongue out. No, oh, that's my cupcake taster. What are you doing? Lay off him. Never. For my plan to work, he's got to be basting in sweat. Hitchcock. You once told me you could roll that chair anywhere. Think you could take it up those stairs? I once rolled a chair home in a blizzard. So yeah, I can go upstairs. So do it. Oh, he's amazing. He's like a big, lazy Michelle Kwan. But how's he going to get up the stairs? Jake, 
He already did. <sighs> okay, it's go time. Help! My man's having a heart attack! Help! Hitchcock now! <laughs> Scully, grab his gun. It's not sticky because I'm so juicy! I told you I knew what I was doing. Black Fred, think quick. No, no, ow! That was a gun, man! Scully, grab that dude's knife and cut us loose. We're gonna get the rest of these guys. It's time for Operation Beans Phase 2. We can keep it in my office until it's time to leave. What do you have in the pastry box, sir? Brownies? No, you hold brownies from the side. He's holding it from the bottom. True. Maybe it's a cheesecake. But there's no condensation on the box. It's room temperature. Look at the fingers spread, tensing in the shoulders. He's supporting something dense. It's, it's a, a pie. pie. It is a pie. OK, I've got three words. I've got an and, I've got an and, and a he. Now, the he could be part of a the or the end of Apache. I don't know why, but I'm getting a strong Apache vibe. Amy? Amy? Amy, where'd you go? Down here. I let the pile take me. I don't know what I was thinking. We've been at it for two hours, and all we've got is three words. Really, two. Terry's just fooling himself. Apache's a long shot at best. Ooh, you guys building a nap nest? Mind if we burrow? No! We're piecing together shredded documents to find Seamus Murphy. Can I help? I'm really good at jigsaw puzzles. I do them all the time. It's why my wrist muscles are so defined. No offense, Scully, but you can't be good or bad at jigsaw puzzles. It's just putting shapes together. There's no strategy or reasoning or logic. Look, I got half a page. He is the one. Una furtiva lagrima. The sun gets to me every time. It's beautiful. You must be so proud. I sure am. Well, how long have you two been together? We've been partners for almost 30 years. So do you two ever get harassed at work? Harassed? For what? For being a gay couple who works together in the NYPD. Buh. Captain, thank you for joining us. What's going on? A proper birthday dinner. Amy chose the restaurant. Captain. Oh, perfect. I've always wanted to come here. Boyle picked the menu. Vivian helped. Terry chose the champagne. I'm sorry about your party, sir. I tried to keep them in line, but I failed. Well, that's not your job. I'm only sorry you didn't get a chance to enjoy yourself. Gina has brought back all the silverware that she stole from your house. What? Also this clock. <coughs> Good heavens. This isn't ours. And my contribution will be to refrain from discussing The New Yorker for the rest of my living days. Enjoy. Thank you, Jake. You're welcome, Kevin. Call me Kev. Oh. All right. Oh, he told you to say that, didn't he? Well, you are always playing pranks on me, Raymond. Just once, let me be the funny one. <sighs> and finally, it is my great pleasure to introduce the 99 Zone Detective Scully to serenade you. Mona tu sola, che bello ogni, o sola mio, san fronte te. This part always gets me. Oh, sola, oh, sola mio. <laughs>